white people? Because I have to say these this, this words, because this is the country we live in, it, it associates people as this color, that color. But I mean, all, most humans in this country um, are all affected and influenced by this um, forced and imposed um, silent instruction that other races should not like each other, right? You don't know the person and you don't know each other. You're just passing each other in passages and stores everywhere. But there's no, there's hostility, right? And I just thought, you know, you know what? I'm just leaving this place because I don't want to be unha an unhappy person. And, and, and I do know that not all Africans and not all white people are all about hate and race and stuff. So listening to you and the book and listening to the lady over there in the project that she's doing, I'm realizing that actually there are people, even though they're not out there and loud and just like the ANC is loud on TV and everything, who are actually doing the right things in South Africa. So there is hope. And so I'm really grateful for the book that you wrote, Mr. Nicholson, and, and especially a book like this written by a judge um, who showed who show compassion, compassion to the, the um, what happened to Chris Hani and people like them. And someone who's not afraid, most of us are afraid to speak truth to power. Corporate, talking about corporate. So when I listened to your dialogue, I thought to myself, okay, now that we find out people who don't have fear, like Mr. Nicholson, who can write a book like this and publish it, and I'm not scared that someone's gonna follow them and want to do something to them, like some of us are. There's a lot of stuff that has happened in corporate that no one knows about. I'm so happy you've raised that because I thought to myself, this book, thank God you also said the same, that this book needs to be a textbook at schools. So that kids in townships and everywhere can see that there's hope in South Africa, that not everyone is a racist, everyone wants to get along, you know, with each other. So we need, I, I just wish now that you are in this kind of platform, if you could also um, create a bit of a noise about the fact that this country cannot be living in hate. Hate is painful, very painful for all of us. Daily hate towards each other every day. At work, in stores, in the townships even, because it's an energy, not because black people hate each other, black on black violence, but it's the energy in the country. Some people don't know how to get rid of it within the, their psyche, and it's causing havoc. That's the first thing. So please, if people can do this, I would love, to, I'm already getting involved in, in, in such things, helping people in the townships, to show people that, look, you've got potential, there's nothing different about you from another person. Also, corporates, I wanna talk about corporates, guys. My God, I can write a book, but we're all scared. We talk about this within each other. So I'm coming from the accounting fraternity. And there's a lot that has happened to black women. Everyone says black women empowerment, but the stuff they do to these people in the workspace, killing their self-esteem. So apartheid has a new face. It's no longer like Phil Ruth's face, like it used to be. It's a black face. It's, it's hidden by a black face. And therefore, and the system also is black, but it's doing worse things, you know, um, because now all those things that were done by the Africana people towards the black people are done by the black system, okay? So apartheid, has, the, the way we said, it did not end. It just changed its face. The system has changed its face, and, and so people are just gobbling it all up, the treatment in the corporate space, um, the transforming of people when they get there, you get there, you're not about race, you're about your success and your potential, but no, you're not supposed to have great potential, you're supposed to be like everyone else, you're supposed to see yourself as black, no, that is not correct, 
but that's what has been happening. And I wish it could be exposed. I do. Because, I mean, um, no one is allowed to kill another person's potential and mess them up just because you're too white, you're too intelligent, you're supposed to be like other people. And some people are even men, people, men, mentors, in converted marks, mentors, are hired for them to mentor them into killing their, their light. I could write a book about this. Thank you very much. I don't want to take too much time. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. very much. Thank you.